Dear viewers, have you noticed your car's mileage dropping lately? Or maybe your engine is sounding rougher than usual? It could be because of something new in your fuel tank, ethanol. India has taken a bold step in its green energy mission, hitting 20% ethanol blending in petrol, known as E20, five years ahead of the schedule. That's a big win for the environment and the economy. But is it a win for your car? Many users are now complaining. Low mileage, rough engine sounds, damage to fuel tanks, and they are blaming the E20 for it. Is ethanol blending damaging your vehicles? We will explain in this video. Hello, I am Tejas and you are watching Lokmat Times. Before we move ahead, please do subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and press the bell icon to never miss an update. Ethanol is an alcohol-based fuel, usually made from crops like sugarcane. When blended with petrol, it helps cut down on crude oil imports, reduce carbon emissions and support our farmers. In fact, with just 10% blend E10, India saved over rupees 50,000 crore in oil imports in a single year. Now that's impressive. But the question remains, is this blended fuel good for your vehicle? What about the mileage of your vehicle? Here is the truth. Ethanol has lower energy than petrol. So when you run your car on E20, your fuel consumption goes up. You may lose around 6-7% mileage compared to regular petrol. That means more frequent refueling and higher running costs, especially if your vehicle wasn't designed for this blend. Some users have reported a 4% drop in mileage right after switching to E20. And yes, they felt it in their wallets. But the most important question is, is your vehicle ready for E20? This is where things get tricky. Only cars made after April 2023 are considered fully E20 compatible. These vehicles come with ethanol-resistant fuel lines, corrosion-protected metal parts, and updated engine control units ECUs. But most of India's vehicle fleet, including BS6 cars sold between 2020 and 2023, are only E10 compliant. Even worse, vehicles sold before 2020 may not be compatible at all. Using E20 in these older engines could mean faster wear and tear, corrosion in fuel tanks, leaking fuel lines, and even engine knocking, a damaging sound caused by premature fuel ignition. In cold areas, it could even lead to starting trouble. Ethanol is hydroscopic, which means it absorbs water from the air. That moisture can cause rust in fuel systems and degrade plastic and rubber parts, like gaskets, hoses and seals. If your vehicle isn't made to handle it, expect more trips to the mechanic and unfortunately, more out-of-pocket expenses. Worse still, many manufacturers don't cover damage caused by E20 under warranty, if your car wasn't made for it. That brings us to another important question. Are fuel prices going down at least? Well, not really. In theory, ethanol is cheaper to produce than petrol. A 20% blend should lower fuel prices. Back in 2021, it was estimated that E20 could cut petrol prices by Rs 8 per litre. But today, you are still paying Rs 100 to 104 per litre depending on your city with no real relief to consumers. Why? Because of taxes, rising excise duty and the cost of ethanol production and transport. So even though the government is saving big on oil imports, those savings haven't been passed down to you, the everyday driver. Another problem is many petrol pumps don't clearly label if the fuel is E10 or E20. That means you might be filling E20 unknowingly even if your vehicle isn't designed for it. This lack of information puts consumers at risk and raises serious safety and performance concerns. There is no doubt, ethanol blending is a step in the right direction for India's future. It supports farmers, reduces carbon emissions and helps our economy. But as with any big transition, the impact on you, the end user, must be considered as well. Until most vehicles are E20 ready, we need better transparency at fuel stations, clear vehicle compatibility information and a phased rollout so drivers aren't forced to choose between saving the planet and saving their engine. Ethanol blending is here to stay and in the long run, it's a cleaner, greener path. But in the short term, it might be burning a hole in your fuel tank and your pocket. So before you top up your next tank, ask, is my vehicle E20 compatible? And is my pump giving me the right fuel? Awareness is the first step towards smart driving and smart policy. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more insights on India's changing fuel landscape. Thank you.